before lighting your first fire in the appliance. Confirm the baffle and ceramic blanket are correctly positioned. They should be even with the front tube and resting on all tubes. There are many ways to build a fire. The basic principle is to light easily ignitable tinder or paper, which ignites the fast burning kindling, which in turn ignites the slow burning firewood. Here is one method that works well. Open the burn rate air and start up air controls fully. Place several wads of crushed paper on the firebox floor. Do not use grates, and irons, or other methods to support the fuel. Lay small, dry sticks of kindling on top of the paper. Make sure that no matches or other combustibles are in the immediate area of the appliance. Be sure the room is ventilated and the flue is not blocked. Heating the flue with a lighted rolled cone of paper will create a good draft and help keep smoke to a minimum. Light the paper and kindling in the appliance and close the door. Once the kindling is burning quickly, add several full-length logs 3 to 4 inches in diameter. Be careful not to smother the fire. Stack the pieces of wood one half to one inch apart. You want them to be near enough to each other to get hot, but far enough away from each other to allow airflow between them. Set the burn rate air control and activate the ACC timer system. During your first fire, you might notice some odors and vapors. This is the normal curing of the high temperature paint. If you want to, open the windows for air circulation during this curing process, as the odors may be irritating to sensitive individuals. When you are ready to reload it, fully open both the burn rate air and startup air controls before reloading. This livens up the coal bed and reduces excessive smoke. Open the door slowly so that ash or smoke does not exit the appliance through the opening. Large logs burn slowly, holding a fire longer. Small logs burn fast and hot, giving quick heat. As long as there are hot coals, reloading the stove with logs maintains a continuous fire. Do not use gasoline, lantern fuel, kerosene, charcoal lighter fluid, or other similar liquids to start up or freshen a fire. This will cause a fire hazard and potential explosion, and may cause a dangerous overfire. Always keep combustible materials, gasoline, and other flammable vapors and liquids clear of the appliance. These things don't belong anywhere near the stove. They're potential fire risks. Follow basic home safety guidelines and install at least one smoke detector on each floor of your home. They should be away from the heating appliance and close to the sleeping areas. Be sure to maintain them regularly. Operating a fire in the home can be dangerous if instructions are not followed. Keep a conveniently located Class A fire extinguisher. Have a practice evacuation plan with at least two escape routes. In the event of a chimney fire, immediately evacuate the house and notify the fire department. Open both the startup air control and the burn rate air control fully. Raise the burn rate air control all the way up until it stops, and push the startup air control back until it stops. The blower tends to cool the appliance, so leave the blower off until the burn is well established, about 10 minutes. After the fire is established, set both controls to the desired setting. For a high burn rate or maximum heat, Raise the burn rate air control all the way up until it stops. That's the fully open position. Push the startup air control back all the way and leave it back. This setting overrides the ACC timer system, so you must monitor the fire closely while in this setting because it's possible for the fire to get too hot and the stove can begin to overfire. For a medium high burn rate, raise the burn rate air control all the way up until it stops. That's a fully open position. Push the startup air control all the way back until it stops, then pull forward until it stops. This activates the ACC timer system. For a medium low burn rate, raise the burn rate air control up to the bottom of the middle marker and stop. Push the startup air control all the way back until it stops, then pull forward until it stops. 
This activates the ACC timer system. For a low burn rate, leave the burn rate air control at the bottom marker. Push the startup air control all the way back until it stops and then pull forward until it stops. This activates the ACC timer system. Overfiring is a serious situation. Symptoms of overfiring may include one or more of the following. The chimney connector or appliance glowing, roaring, rumbling noises from the firebox, loud cracking or banging sounds, metal warping, or a chimney fire. If you suspect an overfire, immediately close the door and air controls to reduce air supply to the fire. If you suspect a chimney fire, evacuate your house and call the fire department. Do not use the appliance until it has been inspected by a hearth and chimney expert. Hearth and Home Technologies will not warranty stoves that exhibit evidence of overfiring. Evidence of overfiring includes, but is not limited to, a warped air tube, deteriorated refractory brick retainers, and deteriorated baffle and other interior components. <laughs>